Hi there, I'm Christina from HairRomance.com. Today's tutorial is all about how to get natural looking curls when you don't have curly hair. This is my look for the Australian Hair Fashion Awards. I'm heading there tonight and I filmed a get ready with me to show you how I've transformed my hair from this pretty rough old blow dry uh, into these crazy curls. The process of curling your hair isn't actually that quick, probably would have been quicker for me to wash and dry my hair, but I wanted to make sure I got exact results and I didn't change my hair colour. So let's get started. Okay, so we're starting with four day old hair. Don't judge me. We we'll start with some thermal styling spray to protect your hair and then brush it through to remove any knots. And if you like me and lose a bit of hair, we're just gonna pop that over there. Now to do this look, we're sectioning and we're gonna curl from the bottom up. Now with curling wands, I'm using two different curling wands for this look. The main one is the Muck Curl Stick. I'm using the smallest barrel, which is nine to 19 millimeters. That's just short of three eighths of an inch. So it's really tiny. To get natural looking curls, it's really important to take very small sections. Just gives you a much more natural look, but it does get a little bit repetitive. So I'm gonna speed up a lot of this video and save you the time of watching it all. But it's pretty much these steps just over and over again. If you're curious, I think it took me just around about an hour to do all of my hair. And I do have a lot of hair. So I think I did pretty well cutting down this video. My next tip is the direction that you're curling your hair. This one I'm curling away from my face. And on the next section, I'm gonna curl the opposite direction. So curling it towards my face. The reason I'm doing this is that it stops the curls clumping together too much to form like a solid wave. By curling in different directions, it gives you that much more natural curl finish. Now here's my second curling wand the H2D curling wand with a 19 mil barrel. That's around about three quarters of an inch. And this is what I normally would use to touch up my curls. And this just gives a much more natural look. I'm gonna mix this in for a layer or so to blend out with the little curls as well. Every curly girl has a mix of curl patterns. So when it's too exact, it can look a bit fake. But most of the time I'm using the muck, but you can see I mix it up a little bit just to make sure that the curls are looking quite natural, curling in different directions. Now that's all done, I'll go do my makeup and come back for the best bit. It's time to shake it out. Now I would never normally tell you with, with curly hair to run your fingers through, but with this artificial curl, it does work to make it look more natural. Uh, then split up any large curls you see and shake it out from the roots. Now my tips to get even more volume. Back combing, grab a comb and in the underneath layers, you can back comb some sections or use a styling powder. These are fantastic to actually add like back comb in a bottle, sprinkle them at the roots and down your curls and give them a shake and you'll get extra, extra volume. Personally, I love frizz, but not too much. So I'm gonna use one of my favorite products, Frizzy Logic, to smooth them down and almost elongate some of the curls by pulling at them. This just helps smooth down that surface level of frizz, but still keeps the frizz underneath that's giving you all that volume. Then it's time for a final check. I really want to wear a side part, so I'm going to back comb and have a little bit more styling powder on those underneath layers just to even out the volume. And if you notice any loose layers at the bottom, you can just back comb gently with your fingers, pushing them up just to add in that little bit of shape and create a rounder hairstyle. All up, this took about an hour and 10 minutes to do, so potentially quicker than jumping in the shower and washing and drying my hair again. And I knew exactly how they turn out, which is pretty important when I was going to a room with about 500 other hairdressers. It's a lot of pressure and I'm pretty happy with how it all turned out. If you made it all the way to the end, thank you so much for watching and I hope you picked up some tips for curling your hair, whether that's to create like a full natural looking curl or for waves and styling your hair anyway. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit like and the notifications bell so you'll be the first to see my next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Have fun with your hair. Bye.